Hi guys, I'm not in the mood to make a tutorial lately, so I thought I'd just tell a story instead, and I hope you enjoy it. So we're living in the information age, and I'm a big advocate of learning online and 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 all that jazz, and I've learned a lot online. But there has been points in my in my life where that sort of inflection, where the biggest change in how I saw things, is by just personally speaking to people <laughs> face to face, you know, uh, or working with people. So one just one instance that that comes to mind was I went to the University of Helsinki where, where Linux was created, you know, whatever. Uh, to be honest, by the time I arrived there, Linus was long gone. Uh, but I shared an office with a guy named Aki and He's a very competent C coder. And I think I was messing around something to do with data mining in C or Perl. And at that time, I, I was actually kind of a noob around Unix and things like that. And I always found Unix like a bit kludgy in some ways. I just, I guess I came from Windows previously and I, and I was familiar with Windows, which seemed to be a little bit more streamlined. And obviously, you have all these binaries, and and I, I didn't really get Unix. And Aki introduced me to Unix, and and basically explained to me that the typical GNU Linux that that people use um, is kind of like you know the glibc and all that stuff is kind of bloated and and whatnot, and and. Uh, I think I was trying to debug a program and like he showed me something like I can't really remember I'm just just I'm probably just imagining things right now. He showed me how how clean and readable like S trace was on his plan 9 system that's that was something deep, very influential to me. So like S trace sort of worked you could actually see what functions were being called you could actually get an idea of what was going on. But on my GNU libc program I think I was running Debian or Suze back in the day, it was basically unworkable. <laughs> and he, he went further to introduce me to Plan 9 and the Unix philosophy. And, and show, you know, he, he showed me Plan 9's implementation of, of grep and, I don't know, LS and all the basic utilities. And they were readable C that you could understand it. Um, Plan 9 has sort of slipped out of view, but in, nowadays a great repository of of, uh, of Unix utilities, just to get a good idea of a, of a minimalistic implementation, can be found on the, uh, the suckless repo under 9base. So sometimes I like to look at these things just to get a... I don't code in C but, uh, very much at all, but I like to just almost be inspired by what I see here. So you're probably thinking like, why is this guy even like interested in these minimal implementations of these Unix utilities? It's all a bit antiqui antiquated, isn't it? But the, the thing that struck me was, was Aki was explaining to me that, I know this sounds a bit survivalist and a bit nutty, but like, if you, had to start writing an operating system from scratch, like you're on a desert island or something. The the Unix way of of composing your system with all these little commands. Okay, to be honest, I would struggle to to create that kernel, but there are good minimalistic kernels out there to have a look at. You know, the Minix and, and I'm, I'm sure not, uh, Plan Nine is worth a look too. Um, but essentially. Uh, like I, I, I didn't really follow through with the experiment, but you can basically sit down and write down ls, echo, cat, and get a workable, pretty workable system. And that, and that was like very, very empowering to me. It's like, it's like first principles. Like now I understand how to create an operating system, and I later did uh, about ten years later from from meeting Aki. But, but it gave me the confidence and to understand what 
I mean, there's different layers to an operating system, obviously, but like essentially the base of an operating system looks like and what and how things work. And that was deeply, deeply empowering. And that that sort of first principles type viewpoint is so, so it's like, you know, it's like my bedrock of understanding. So when I come across new projects that are a bit, whatever, trying to do something, I, 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 I basically just think in that, in that sort of frame of mind. It, it's a, it can be considered limiting, I guess, but, but I think it's really helped me a lot. It's really, really helped me it, to understand how, how simple systems should be and how, and how reliable systems are built, uh, rather. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the little story time. Uh, Aki, if you're watching, uh, thank you uh, ever so much for, for, uh, for giving me your time to explain some things. And I really hope that you guys learned something and, and uh, you meet people like I've met, uh, I've been lucky enough to meet. <laughs> but you do have to you do have to keep an open mind sometimes guys keep an open mind don't be too argumentative when you're when you're younger i'm still a bit argumentative okay see you guys bye please like the video and all that jazz bye